You gotta keep the money moving, because if it sits still, it costs money. To prove anything, to get 300 plus thousand dollar loan, it was a piece of cake. Look through the eyes of a real real estate investor as we look over the real deals, the real numbers, the real flips in making money in real estate. Thank you, Andrea. For the proud new owners of the property. This is not a home improvement show. This is a financial improvement show. And you're going to learn how to really flip with Really Flip. At any given time, I've got about a dozen active job sites, right? So, which is proving to be probably a couple too many <laughs> for a mom and pop operation like myself to handle, right? But I like to keep some level of chaos going because to me it means like the pipeline's full, right? So I got a, at a, about a dozen active job sites, that's a full pipeline. You know, you gotta keep the money moving, right? If it stops flowing and things particularly stop selling, I mean, it's like the needle screeches across the record. It's a disaster, you know, and, and having that much money invested out at like a dozen job sites, you know, even rough math, it's, you know, seven figures or more. So I took this on with a pretty full pipeline already, and shortly after acquiring this property, I had this fantastic problem of four properties that we were renovating got like pre-sale contracts. Now you've got serious hard deadlines to meet because any type of contract, you know, purchase or sale, there's deadlines to meet. And if you don't meet them, you delay, you know, the flow of money. So as a result, other properties that they're still costing money but aren't under a hard deadline tend to get pushed to the wayside. And that's kind of what this one suffered from early on. That said, uh, we're near complete on the other projects, which freed up my resources, financial and logistical and otherwise, to get started on this, so we're really psyched about it. I mean, one of the things that drew me to take interest in the property was, first of all, I'm active right on the other side of the block, so I'm already a believer in the location. It's very quiet out here. It's, it's I mean, you could consider it rural, but it's like three minutes from downtown Wilmington, which that is becoming a real popular place, and you know, downtown Wilmington is booming. Um, so, you know, anything that has this like rural or suburban or even you know, country feel like this does, but you're five minutes, you know, from all the action, those are attractive characteristics of a property. I mean, one of the things I love about this property is that the lot itself is huge. You can just about see it goes all the way back to that tree line way back there, follows this tree line. I'm hoping to keep a half acre of it, but it's a gorgeous property out here. And again, it's quiet and it feels very rural, which are things I love about a given property. The Connected Investors app connects you with investors, notifies you of available properties, helps locate cash buyers, and secure private funding to close deals. Download Connected Investors today to find, figure, fund, and flip investment properties on the go. You know, your ideas can just go crazy anytime you, certainly when you first walk in a house. You know, we're still wrestling with the stairway to the second floor here, cause it's just a behemoth. We got a couple ideas. If, if we choose to finish off the second floor, like I think we will. I might look into a spiral staircase if I can get one affordably, cause it'll be a nice feature right there. Carpet of course comes out, this is nasty. And there's beautiful heart pine floors under this carpet. Um, I've been known lately to leave the carpet in place until the very end of the project after we've painted because it beautifully protects the floors. You know, the only downside is if there's damage to the floor, you don't know it until later in the project. But that's all right, we're going to fix it anyway, right? So let the whole project be done, trample the old carpet, paint the place, you don't even need to throw down drop cloths, and then yank the carpet and do the floor, so that'll be fine. The, the decision process is like ongoing, particularly at the onset of a project like this, you know. Wait a minute, is that wood? Let me see something. This is kind of cool. Let's see that wood right there. If we cut this in half, 
we can Wayne's coat a bathroom with this stuff, right? And get me in front of somebody who cares about something like that, a, you know, a prospective buyer, and I say, man, we pulled that stuff out of the attic, we wainscoted your bathroom. So instead of like going in the landfill or something like that, we repurposed it and we painted it, and it's, now it's got this cool like antique look to it. It's a good selling point. Some people really go, wow, that's really cool. I'm really excited to get going. This thing's gonna be absolutely gorgeous, and uh, to, to see it come to fruition is gonna be is going to be totally awesome. Everyone's going to love it. So we'll be proud. While on site, Steve likes to pull out his phone and show you what's going on during his day. Let's take a look at some of his other flips. The obvious that it wasn't safe. I came around the back of the house and clearly I won't need a key to get in. This is where the dog had been going to the bathroom. This is uh, just walking straight in the front door of this beautiful property. A uh, beautiful couch set in the living room here. So, uh, this house had somebody living in it. I'm glad they're gone. There's their latest issue of Gun Digest magazine. You're failing to appreciate in this video is the smell deep in the heart of renovating this house. And that's my daughter Abigail. <laughs> Let's get back to the parsonage. Next time on Really Flip, as Steve pours all of his resources into the rehab of the Parsonage property, he finds out some information that's going to make it very difficult for him to get anywhere close to what he needs to profit on this property. Find out how he handles it all next time on Really Flip. We hope you enjoyed episode three of Really Flip. There's two more action-packed episodes coming right around the corner. But what I want you to do right now is go ahead and sign up to the special training webinar that Steve and I are hosting. We want you to flip real estate just like Steve, using none of your own cash or credit. In addition, this webinar is for three very distinct type of people. Listen closely. Number one, the person who wants to assume no risk, use none of their own money, and just make an extra five to $20,000 per deal. Type of person number two, the person who's like Steve, who's handy and wants to fix things up and make, let's just say, twenty to $60,000 per deal. And then the investor who has a little bit of working capital who wants to make well over six figures a deal. Go ahead and sign up to the webinar right now because not only are we going to pull back the curtain on all of the technical aspects of investing in real estate, we're also going to give you game-changing technology that makes finding properties easier, funding properties easier, shows you how to figure out all the numbers automatically so you can make decisions confidently. Go ahead and sign up to the webinar. Steve and I look forward to speaking with you.